Hello, I'm Dave Burston, Director of Community Engagement with the Indiana Department of Correction. If you're watching this video now, it's because a Community Engagement Coordinator at the Correctional Facility where you volunteered prior to the pandemic has been in touch with you. That said, I think we can all agree it's been a long 15 plus months, and we are excited, if not more so than you, to begin welcoming volunteers back to all of our facilities. While this is a big step back to normalcy that we all crave, not everything in the volunteer experience will be the same as it was prior to March of 2020. For starters, and while it shouldn't need to be said, I do need to emphasize that your health and the health of the offenders and all of our dedicated staff are foremost in our minds. For this reason, face masks will continue to be required at all times for the foreseeable future in all DOC facilities. That's for staff, that's for volunteers, that's for everybody. And there will be some other changes of which the most notable are that volunteers will be limited to volunteering one day a week and only at one facility. Also, no physical contact is permitted between offenders and volunteers. This means no handshaking, no elbow bumps or fist bumps, and no hugging. This may seem drastic to many, but we have come too far to risk a relapse that results in dozens of offenders, volunteers, or staff members contracting COVID-19 again. Ultimately, our collective goal is to return to an atmosphere where volunteers will again be able to volunteer at multiple correctional facilities and more frequently than just one day per week if that's what your schedule permits. We'll also be looking forward to the day that masks will no longer be required and a simple handshake greeting will be permitted as well. But until that time, the mask requirement and no physical contact protocols will be adhered to at all times. We want to keep this on the bright side. We know volunteers are excited to be back, and the offenders and staff at each correctional facility are equally excited to know volunteers will soon be back to share their many talents. So as I close this message, let me share some next steps for our previously certified volunteers. By virtue that you're viewing this video, the local community engagement coordinator has already reached out to you. Take time now to review the training PowerPoints located on the volunteer portion of the Department of Correction website and do the knowledge review. The local community engagement coordinator will be in touch again with more information about an in-person training session that will be held at various locations across Indiana. These sessions will last anywhere from a couple of hours to no more than four hours. They will not be held at a correctional facility, but will be at a public location, such as a local church, library, or some other public location. Each returning volunteer will be required to attend one of these in-person sessions before July 12th of this year. Well, that's all the information we have for you at the moment. You likely have many questions. Please write them down, bring them with you to the volunteer refresher training, and speaking of the training sessions, watch your email for more information on the dates and locations where the training will be provided. Remember, you must attend one of the in-person training sessions before returning to volunteer activities. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you soon at your favorite correctional facility. Be safe and be well. God bless.